Hello, and thank you for joining me for my 12 Sundays of Christmas series. My name is Sharon Rogers, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Wells, Maine. And each Sunday from October 1st through December 17th, I am bringing you a Christmas gift packaging or gift idea. We are on Sunday number five, so let's get started. On the fifth Sunday of Christmas, Sharon shared with me a gift bag made from designer series paper. You may recognize this from the Berry Christmas paper. It's holding some cards, which we'll get to later. We actually got to them on Tuesday. Has a little polar bear tag punch and has plenty of room inside. Let's see how to make this. I am using the 12 by 12 Berry Christmas Designer Series paper tonight. And there are several patterns in here and they don't all work for the bag. This is the one I will be using. Now when you're making a bag, you have to realize that you're going to be folding some down on the top and folding some down on the bottom. So your pattern matters. For instance, in this particular pattern, I'm having a two inch wide bag. So I will be starting about two inches up. So that means that this part below the ruler is not going to show. So you're gonna have this little bear, which is perfect for the side of the bag. Although it will be a little bit on the left side because remember, two inches are, is going to be for the side of the bag. So you'll have something that looks about like this showing, which is really nice. Um, you don't get to see all these bears. What you can also do is we're going to fold down. So I could fold down so that I have this, which is nice enough. You know, it's this blue on blue tone. But we could, uh, let's see, we could fold down two inches from the top and have my little bears showing. So let's see, if, where's two inches? Because I want to make sure that I get there, I'm up there. So this is almost three inches to get this particular scene. But the good news is, is that I don't need some of this at the bottom here. I can cut that off a little bit because I'll be using a piece that is nine by 11. So you just have to decide, I don't, I don't wanna waste these bears. So I am gonna fold down. We will begin by cutting what we can off the bottom. I don't wanna to cut too much because I, I do wanna keep them kind of on the ground. Um, when I fold over and then remember I need 11 inches tall so this has to measure 11 inches I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut it so that it's 11 tall there we go so we have 11 tall and we need nine wide. And I want to get this side because I really want to feature this little bear. Oh, wait, sorry. He's bending down like this. So um, I'm going to, I want, I do want to, I do want to get something in here. Probably this will come over two inches. Now it, it does wrap around the bag, so you'll see it from multiple sides. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Um, we'll do nine inches here. So we need nine by 11. And we have a little bear that we can do something else with. You're going to score on all four sides at two inches. Now two inches is just the turn down that I have. You can have a larger one or a smaller one. I want two inches and I want a two inch wide bag, which is why I want 
to score it two inches. So on all four sides, and you can use your, um, you can use your simply scored tool. It's been a long day. I'm having trouble thinking. It's a gorgeous day. It was very, very warm. I was at a craft fair. When I'm filming this, I'm filming this the day before you're viewing it. It's very warm and I fought the fought the wind the whole time. Um let's see. So we're going to be folding along those score lines. So I see I have my little bears there. And I want to score. I want to fold. Now notice I am I am keeping this folded in order to do this because I want remember this is this is turning the corner with the bag. So it's helpful if it's down like that, the way it's going to be when the bag is finished. For the bottom doesn't matter. I don't need to keep it folded because we're going to be cutting off or we're going to be cutting some pieces, not cutting off, just cutting. I'm going to cut this off right here. I'm going to cut and I'm going to cut here. All right. So this is going to come up like this and we're going to get half a bag. We're going to do the same thing with this piece. So it does use a full, I mean, practically a full two sheets, one pattern, but I think it's kind of worth it. So I'm going to do that. We're going to do this again at, so nine inches wide, I'm going to cut three inches off this way. I'm just cutting it a little bit differently this time. It doesn't matter as long as you know you're gonna be ending up with nine by 11. And remember I cut off, cut off about here before, and then I turned it and we wanna do it 11. It's much easier when you don't have a pattern like this where you've got specific pieces that you want to see. So remember, we're going to score it at two inches from every side, on every side. One side. Two sides. Three sides. And four sides. All right. And again, remember, this is our top. I'm going to fold that down and burnish it with our bone folder. And with it folded, we're going to fold in the sides of the bag. And then we're going to fold up the bottom. So let me show you if I cut up like I did before. Okay. I am gonna I am gonna adhere these in place. But what's gonna happen is that one is gonna fit inside the other. And so we have something that looks like this one we're done, it's a little bag, right? Now, if you look at the bottom here, you've got this and this and this and that. That's a lot of bottom. We don't really need these flaps right here. We need them on one side, but we don't need them on the other side. They're just, because they're not really doing anything. They're not really adding strength to the bottom of the bag very much because they don't go all the way to the center. So you can cut those ones off and you can use those on something else. And now we're going to adhere. Let's bring in your adhesive of choice now. You can use glue 
or you can use tear and tape. I'm going to use tear and tape. It's got a nice hold with it and it just is faster setting up. I really do like glue a lot better though. So when you are bringing this in, you can see that this edge is coming up here. So you want some, some tear and tape either uh, on the back side of this flap right here, or you want it right up here. I'm gonna put it right here where I can see it. Okay. And then you can see that the other edge where they really, it's meaningful to have some tape is right here. So those two outside pieces. We're gonna do the same thing on the other edge. Along this score line and down the edge. All right, got a little extra there. I can cut that off and fold it over. You do not have to adhere this down. You can, but you don't have to because it's gonna the fold is gonna make it stay down. Let's just take off these pieces here. I have not even cleaned up from my craft fair yet. Oh, this place is a mess. A uh, mess. It was a last minute craft fair that I went to. I signed up for it on Friday, yes, so yesterday, and did it today. Who was it windy today? It was nice when we first got there, and of course, it was very warm. It was beautiful, beautiful Indian summer day. But it did not, I mean, it was, whew, it was windy. It was windy. Now we're going to just adhere these pieces together. So you're going to adhere the sides. Now you can get rid of some of the bulk here as well if you wanted to. I probably should have done that before I before I did I formed the bottom. I want to do it on the same I want to do it on the um on this one because it's going to be the inside that I'm sticking down to. You'll see what I mean in a second. Cutting is a little bit hard in this light. Maybe I'll go from you know, trying to see where the where the. <laughs> oh, this is almost comical. Probably shouldn't do videos this late at night. It's past nine o'clock after a full day in the sun and heat. All right, so there we have, we've cut away a little bit of the bulk. Now, because this one, um, this one is kind of free going now, I do want to adhere this one down with some, with some tear and tape. And I don't need a ton. I'm just gonna put, put it right here on the edges a little bit. I do love this tear and tape just because it's so easy to get, um, you know, get it the right length and tear it easily. You don't have to hold it down and try to find scissors. It's so nice. All right, so here's the bottom. We're gonna put this in here and we're gonna adhere all of this, all of this together. So where do we need adhesive? We're gonna need adhesive along each of these three free pieces. And we need adhesive along here and here and these edges as well. So 
there we go. There's all that. Take all the backing uh, backings off. Now, let's see here. So we're going to put this in, and this is going to come up. I like to do a little bit at a time so I can make sure that this is nice and square. And I do see that I didn't trim this off exactly like I needed to cut a little bit closer to that score line. So I'm gonna trim that right now while I can. All right. And now, because I've got this done, now it's easier to go ahead and remove these. They say it's easier, come on, there we go. Because if you remove all of it all at once, there's just a lot of sticky going on there. And you want to make sure that you take the time to make each section really nice. Like this one I didn't get quite right. Uh, it's going to have to be good. It's going to have to be good. Put this corner, this edge to this edge, this edge to this edge. Now we'll bring in our bone folder and we'll just press inside. Make sure that adhesive is really taking well. And if you have any tr spots like right here, I see these are sticking up. So you can either take a little bit of glue or you can take a little bit of tear and tape and just stick those little edges down. You don't need much adhesive at all because you're really just, just tacking down the edge. It's not gonna be freely moving about. Right there. Let me get another one right here. There we go. And there you have a bag. Now, if you don't get things per exactly perfect, you can go ahead and just trim off that excess, that, which is what I'm doing right now. All right. So there we go. Beautiful now. It's pretty easy to fix your mistakes here. And we've got a pretty good and solid bag. Now we just need some handles. I happen to have an old, many, many, many years ago, because remember I've been a demonstrator for a long time. I've got a, an old hole punch. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna kind of eyeball this a little bit. If I wanna be really precise, I'd probably measure you guessed it, I don't want to be really precise, but I'm about, you know, a little more than an inch, maybe an inch and a half. Let's see, inch and a quarter maybe. Yeah, inch and a quarter from each side. So I'm gonna make a little hole punch. So, and I'm about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch down. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You don't want a hole that's very big because it will, um, you know, the ribbon will be wanting to go through it unnecessarily. I'm gonna, you're gonna thread the ribbon through. Now what I like to do is kind of get an idea of how long I want it. I'm gonna be probably that long. I need a little extra to tie knots in the ends and I need two of them. So I'm just gonna double it over, cut it, and cut it in half. So these lengths are about the same. I will thread it through, and just at the very end, I'm going to make a knot. And that knot will make it 
difficult for the ribbon to come through the hole. If you want to make a double knot to really make sure it doesn't come through, probably not a bad idea. Again, you want to keep it roughly to the very end so that you're um, you know, altering the length too much and that your ribbon lengths are gonna be roughly the same. All right, so there we have one handle. And let's do the other one very quickly. There we go, and we have a nice handled bag with a little bear peeking over there. And what would be cute would be a nice little tag. Bring in our polar bear punch. And we've got that right there. And we can use the same hole punch if we want. And you can make him face either way. I'm gonna make him face this way. You can be a little name tag and you could of course stamp this instead um, but if you stamped this then he has to face the other way so uh, you know you can use it whichever way you want bring in a piece of the simply elegant trim There's just a little cute tag to dangle from the handle. Let's see, right over left, left over right, makes a square knot neat and tidy and tight. Just trim those ends a little bit. And so there we have a little a little tag that you can put to and from on. Or from a secret Santa. Either way. Now what can go in the bag? Let's see. In Tune In Tuesday, a bunch, we made 10 cards out of the Berry Christmas Memories and More pack. And guess what? Those 10 cards fit perfectly in here. What a great little gift. And that is the fifth Sunday of Christmas. I'm so glad you could join me today. Now, in just a few moments, there will pop up a link in this video towards the end where you will be able to access Sunday number four. And from Sunday four, you can access Sunday three. But there is also a playlist that I've created on my YouTube channel that is titled 12 Sundays of Christmas 2023. And you can just check out all my 2023 um, videos there. I also have playlists from the previous two years as well. So feel free to check those out. There's lots of great projects. I hope to see you next Sunday for the sixth Sunday of Christmas. Have a great week.